percent ionic character of a bond is dependent on the differences. Oh wow, so big, so fake. It's a prop. Darwin, remind me not to be a cadaver in 1873. Very well. When would you like me to remind you, not Thomas? Never mind. And my name is not not Thomas. Ah, helium balloon, my old friend. I hope you're helium. If you're hydrogen, we've got a problem. A theater prop. Disappointing. Beautiful gadget. Wish I had time to examine it. But if I... Ooh, electric eel! I hope you turn the tables on that guy on stage. Electric phrenology apparatus. I really want to know what that monkey does when they turn it on. On Is the monkey operating the machine or the machine operating the monkey? Why does it have this right turn here? That's a waste of pipe. <laughs> I think it shows the escape velocity from Earth. It's a prop door, but it works. Okay, I've separated the door from the flat. It was loose anyway. It would have fallen off in the middle of someone's dramatic exit. this crank shouldn't be locked. I don't know why yet. There's a sign on the door. Back in 30 minutes. There's a crank marked skylight and it's got a padlocked metal bar over it. There's no place to apply the prize bar. I have to unlock this a different way. releases coal from the bin. Eh, I know all about coal shoots now. The pump seems to work, but the intake pipe is rusted out. This place must have flooded recently. Well observed, Nat Thomas. There's even a ring of mold around the walls. For this to be any use in a fire, it has to be full. We have got a major problem. There's a split in the gas pipe way up out of reach. The water in these cisterns are lower than usual. It's a longer drop than it looks. Who knows what's beneath the surface? This wheel opens the gate, but it hasn't been used in a while. Perfect!
makes a perfect ramp. missing critical parts. These furnaces are old and falling apart. Huge coal furnaces, they must heat the entire building. Carriages so close to the doors. The drivers make more tips when their patrons don't have to wait in the snow. I'd get it sorted, but I can't be outside in this weather, not dressed as I am. You must help me with the furnace downstairs. No, miss. I've been stationed in this here lobby. Well, actually, I was stationed outside, but it's too cold. It may get a lot hotter soon. The demonstration is unsafe. Electricity is flying everywhere. Don't you worry. Ha! I'm sure your little bird friend will protect you. Smoke is going to fill the theater. It's all part of the demonstration, miss. Everything's under control. Snow is blocking the exits. People will be crushed trying to get out. Hmm. Talk to the charwoman. It's her job to clear the snow. You can't order her to do it? Oh, no. <laughs> she won't listen to the likes of me. We have to move those carriages away from the exits. What if there's a fire? It's a fair point, miss. But I don't have me cold weather gear tonight. Take my cloak. It'll keep you warm outside. That? No, I couldn't. The men would laugh me off the street. Why were you stationed outside? Theatre crowds. Always a rowdy lot after a show. In this storm, those ladies and gentlemen are like to be fighting for cabs. I forgot my winter coat, so I'll be waiting inside until the show ends. Have you seen a man here wearing dark glasses? I believe I have. Elegant chap. Don't know where he went. Friend of yours? Relatively speaking. The cistern needs water. Ah, oh, that cistern needs water like a horse needs knickers. She flood us out like it's not. There's a gas leak in the basement. Ain't you the fancy one? How to save the world, dearie? Well, how's the bait sorting with me? I could use a bit of saving. You need to fix the furnace downstairs. Fix the furnace? <laughs> Why, old Bessie's as ancient as a Greek statue. She's as fixed as ever she will be. It 
Is there any way to end the show early? Not a chance, Pip, but I know just how you feel. I was a looker in me prime too. How the lads lined up just to walk me home after work, hmm? If there's a fire, people will be trapped by those doors. Well, them's the risks, ain't they? If it's not fire, it's famine or a tempest, in it. Why did you let it pile up? Manager says, wait for further orders. I waits for further orders. You won't catch me fishing for extra chores. What do you need to make you clear that snow? Orders from management. Who else? Management? The Lord muck himself, set him pretty as you like in his fancy backstage office. share in the proceeds shall be no less than 50 no six from a production of hamlet or is something more sinister going on here it's always wise to have an umbrella in london i'm worried about that monkey he shouldn't be locked in a machine well, that's Darwinism, isn't it? He should have evolved if he wanted to be in charge. That is a complete misrepresentation of the theory of evolution. I expect you're a very popular little lady talking like that, particularly amongst the lads. If it makes you feel any better, you can give him this banana. The lobby doors are blocked. Order someone to clear the snow. Why, you impertinent snipe. I'll thank you to leave these premises at once. Your furnace is a fire hazard. It's about to explode. My theatre has been properly inspected and not found wanting. There's going to be a fire. Please! You must enter the show and evacuate the theater. Ha! And refund everyone's tickets? I think not. This exhibition is dangerous. Bare electricity is flying everywhere. Ridiculous, my dear. You display all the scientific understanding of a scullery maid. I'm an actress. I thought as much. It explains why you're running around in your undergarments and your scandalous hair. These aren't undergarments, they're pants. Pants? Go tell it to Clark Circus. I heard they were hiring clowns. Have you seen an unusual man in the theater? He might be dressed in strange clothes like me. You're certainly the strangest person I've seen tonight. I, I've got to go back on stage. I, perhaps you might inquire with the manager. Has there been anyone else backstage at all? Wait, I don't want to scare people with my crazy 21st century fashion. These electromagnetic demonstrations are fire hazard. Oh, I see. And from whence do you derive your expertise? Those toy goggles you wear around your neck? As a matter of fact, yes. Children! Is it legal to rob graves for science? What effrontery! You dare to question the integrity of royal society? 
Well, their motto is, nothing upon another's word. Uh, 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 well, these demonstrations are for the benefit of the public. But you, my little snippet, are most certainly not my public. Electricity can't restore life. That's not for you to say, little lady. Science is a man's domain. Now, I know there were lady scientists. Even back then. Uh, uh, back now. What would the Royal Society think of your demonstration? Most of this audience is the Royal Society. What, what would your mother say about an unescorted young lady attending the theater? Don't change the subject. The only subject I recognize is the audience. Goodbye! You need to end the show now. The theater has to be evacuated. Twaddle! I intend to give this audience everything they've come for. They didn't come to see the place burn to the ground. Nor did you, I presume. Is the monkey operating the machine or the machine operating the monkey? Done. I'll take these and give him a chance to escape. Done. Pipes from the monkey machine backstage. Ooh, great cloaks. We don't get anything like this in future Switzerland. I know this place is going to catch fire. Maybe I can get the smoke and fire out through the skylights? If I could unlock that padlock, I could open the skylights. put the boilers out for good. Every change has consequences. Consider the smoke. Okay, when those furnaces go out, the theater will fill with steam and smoke. I can't avoid it. I need to deal with the smoke somehow. I have to make sure people get out safely. I know all about coal shoots. It's a mug of beer. Shameful. Drinking on the job. I can't go near the coat while he's facing it. It's a mug of beer. Shameful. Drinking on the job. Too risky. Sorry, mister. It's for the good of your theater. Oh! My trousers! My beautiful tailored trousers! It doesn't look like it fits him. The manager's fancy new coat. I'm borrowing it. That's a pen and paper. That's just what I need. I'll order that charwoman to clear off all the snow blocking the entrance. That's a stamp of his signature.
Hey, Lobby Bobby. Compliments of the management. No, oh, much obliged. He said it was time to move those carriages from the doors. He's got a fair point. Right, you lot, clear out! None of your grumbling. You know the law. Here, orders from the manager. Well, there's a real man for you. Orders me out in the wind and snow whilst he sits smacking his lips in a cosy office. Eh, that's his stamp, all right. Here, take me keys and don't go losing them. One of the actresses locked herself in a dressing room again, I expect. I'll tend to the snow and all tend me I can back, I wonder. And me a war widow. Keys to the theater. The power is mine. Takes care of the smoke. Time to snuff out the furnace. Huge coal furnaces. They must heat the entire building. Let's flood the room. Better put the boilers out for good. Exceedingly brilliant debut. But I... what? Wasn't it fun, child? Oh, I so hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed what? Almost getting killed? You've altered destiny, my darling. Pretty dope, as I do believe they say in your era. But this was only a taste. If you learn well, you will experience the power to compass any future to an absolute certainty. I don't understand any of this. No matter. For the time being, you only really need to understand one thing. How to get back. Father, what are you doing? Showing you what it means to master destiny. I wrote the book. And in the book, this theater burns down. A mirror is always backward. 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 Show me, Darwin. Find a mirror. Behind the trousers. Risk Atlas. The what? Risk Atlas. You were right, Darwin. A mirror is always backward. Anna! Anna, is that you down there? 
Darwin, we need to hide. If she finds us down here, she'll go crazy. Okay, more crazy. Darwin and this log are old friends. 